everyone, today what I would like to do for the next tutorial is to show you how to send files and links to your students. The first thing we're going to do is send a file to the students. Um, I'm going to send a picture to my class so I can say for a brief introduction, uh, view this picture for examples. And then you click on the file button. find the file that you want to send to the students and then click open. It's going to show you that's being attached. You can hit that X if you need to delete it by mistake and then just make sure you know that who you're sending to. Again as a teacher you could send directly to a student or you could send it to an entire class by typing in there are just a few letters of that and then hit send. Here I am logged in as my student account and there's that picture that's been attached and um, as a student you know I could hit reply and I could type something to go with it. I normally for my assignments I have my students post their own artwork so they can click up in this box and say here is my art and if they were hit the file again they can only send to me. So once I type in MR my name automatically comes up the student has no other option, they have no other classes, or they could send it to the class that they're in. And that is about it. So make your students try to submit files, it's kind of fun. You can also add numerous files if you need to <clears throat> for your class. You could send as many as you like, and again, send them directly to a student, and you can hit send. Notice I'm sending a PowerPoint and two audio files for mine it's going to take a little bit for it to upload. Once the file has gotten done uploading you can see the difference if I click on one of these it will download the file directly to my computer. The same thing with the Windows Media Audio file but if you were able to upload an mp3 it's going to give you a little playable bar down here and you can click on it. and It'll play the music for you. So mp3s will give you that little additional play bar. Pretty neat little trick. The other thing I wanted to try and show you today was how to send a link. There's a couple differences between links that you can send. For example, I want to send a link to the Edmono Teacher's Guide. So I'm basically I'm going to go Control C to copy the URL address, and I'm going to go to click on the link button, and I'm going to Control V into that bar. And all I got to do is click on Title Web Page, and it automatically comes up with that for me, and hit Attach. Then all you got to do afterwards is click on a little bit of a brief description of what the website is about, who you're going to send it to, and hit send. Whenever you send a website, it creates like a little bit of a thumbnail form. And then I like to tell the students that they can click right on to that page, and it will take them right there. So click on the blue or the green, it'll take you right there. The other thing you can do is you could send videos to your students. Like I have a YouTube channel, and here's a video that I made up of my students uh, from our last day of class last year. And you need to know the difference. So let's say if I have the URL code at the top, I can control C that, go back to Edmodo, I click on link, and I'm going to just hit control V, click down here, and it's automatically going to come up with that attach file. Alternatively, I'm going to go down back to the YouTube channel and get the embed code by hitting share and I'm going to hit the embed and this is going to actually give me a little playable window inside and go back to Edmodo. If I go back into Edmodo and hit control V and click down there this one I'm going to have to give it a video name and hit attach. If you notice the difference that the URL is a chain and the embed code looks like two blue arrows. I now have the two links that I sent. All I gotta do is click on the blue words and a playable window will come on up. Another great resource to use with videos and Emoto is schooltube.com which actually has a little Edmodo button and clicking on the button will take you right to Edmodo wall and it posts it directly.